I have a deep passion for off-road racing and I just want to keep dominating the sport. This is what I do for a job. It's not a hobby, it's not fun, it's a way of life. Once you've won a bunch of championships, people are so mad that you've done it that they want to beat you even better the next year. The reality is these guys have to be committed to win. Second place is not acceptable. It really does to start with the vehicle, and it comes down to mechanical abilities of the vehicle and not having any problems. If you think you can take a Baja car and go to Dakar, it's like bringing honestly a sword to a gunfight. The mental and physical endurance and strength is very, very important when it comes to being competitive at the Dakar Rally. It's basically 500 miles a day for 14 days. By the time you've reached the fourth day, you're half delirious. You're, you're definitely not the driver that you were the first day because you've just been driving for so long, so far. You've got to go straight across the dunes. You never know what's on the other side, and there's nothing worse than being stuck. And I think when it comes down to pure reading the terrain and what might be coming up ahead of you, you've got to envision these things, and I feel that's one of our strong points. What's different about me than, than other drivers? I'm just going to say it. I, I love the sport more than anybody else. I mean, hands down. There's nobody that has this kind of passion for the sport. What sets you apart? Winners and losers. Show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. <laughs>